Hello and welcome to all the gearheads out there. This is me Neeraja and you are welcome to yet another episode of Green Signal. Well, my ride is gleaming and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It is a less compact my normal Mercedes standards, but no worries, people are staring at it. The new discussion here is all about the new generation A-Class Benz. And what is significant about it is that after a lot of anticipation, it has finally arrived on the Indian shows. Besides the fact that this must have a great number of sales, it is also uncharted territory. The reason why I say this is because baby Benz should not just appeal to a hatchback dealer. It should also appeal to a normal Benz dealer who are until now are used to the big and dare I say mature size of Benz car. And this A-Class, it's mainly targeted towards the young generation. most affordable car in the three-pointed star series. When you talk about Mercedes-Benz A-Class, the main competition is Audi A3, BMW 1 Series and also Volvo V4. This car offers exquisite looks and it comes at an affordable price and also gives you a lot of bragging rights. And when you talk about this car's technology, it has a friend wheel that is MFA, that is Modena French Wheel Architecture. So it's a friend wheel based car. This car has modern twin radiator grille that is lower grille and also sporty wheel design and sporty interiors. These are the three factors that provides athleticism to the car. And another thing that you notice about this car, like I said, the sporty wheel and 
the tailpipes. They have stainless steel exhaust tailpipes that provides a very, you know, gives a self assurance to the car. Mercedes-Benz A-Class has redefined the radiator grille. It has a now a progressive diamond radiator grille. You can see the innovative pins of the front of the A-Class. It is creating an unmistakable highlight on the road. Intelligence light system, LED daytime running lamps, LED indicators and LED tail pipes ensure maximum safety. The central media display is a communication center of the A-Class. We also have another feature which is called as Driver Kit Plus. When you have the Driver Kit Plus, you can connect the iPhone to it. And also you can use the command variant option where you can navigate the 3D maps, also change music by car flow and also access the internet. Now when you check out the gearbox, it's not placed here, it's placed here and it's a 7-speed automatic gearbox. We have a three-spoke multi-function steering wheel with 12 function buttons. Also, we have the air conditioning. We have automatic headlamp activation. And also, we have storage compartments and other facilities inside this A. The rest of the cabin is just as plush as an E-Class but feels far more modern. The SLS AMG style triple aircon vents, the freestanding screen for the command interface, the sculpted steering wheel and the checkered design dials add to the youthful flair. The single piece front seats are superbly snug and the knobs, switches and stalks work precisely. The pedals are slightly offset, but this is made up for by the fantastic driving position. However, the steeply raked windscreen and small rear window compromise visibility, which is bothersome in traffic and when parking. All the Mercedes has skipped on electric steering adjustment and even a powered front passenger seat. There's still plenty of kit. Our test car had Bluetooth connectivity, 7 airbags, ESP, Bisonone headlamps and USB connectivity. When the massive panoramic sunroof comes as standard, the boot with its 341 litre capacity is big by hatchback standards but for the Indian variant, the space saver spare tyre sits inside rather than beneath the foot, eating into luggage space. Now this car has a diesel engine but when it comes to petrol engine, it has 1595cc at 122 bhp at 3500 rpm now this is diesel engine it has 2143 cc 109 bhp at 5000 rpm power
The one complaint we have about this particular A-Class is that the engine lacks sufficient grunt. Considering the A180's 1,375 kg curb weight, the 1,595cc four-cylinder turbo petrol motors 122bhp and 20.4 kg figures are rather modest. However, it is quite at idle and at cruising speeds has a reasonable amount of punch in its mid-range. Driven flat out, the 0 to 100 km per hour sprint is done with a reasonably quick 9.76 seconds and the car tops out at 202 km per hour. But this motor lacks the trademark Mercedes smoothness with some harshness at the far end of the rev range. The automatic gearbox has three modes, economy, sport and manual and for once, this is Merc automatic that responds well to paddle shifts. Class Benz has three color variants. We are talking about Jupiter Red, Cirrus White and Polar Silver. Now this comes in two engines, petrol and diesel. When you talk about petrol and diesel, petrol is expensive than diesel, mainly because of the panoramic sunroof and extra features. Well, and for a front wheel drive car, there's very little understeer, there's great front wheel integrate and beautiful body control. It's composed around corners and though the electrically assisted steering may not be very fearsome, it is precise and quick to react. The A-Class is also incredibly stable in a straight line. The brakes have great stopping Excellent cabin quality, high equipment level, stylish exterior design and decent handling. These are the features that makes this hatchback really attractive. So if you don't want to go for a sedan or SUV, this is the worth buying. Welcome back to Green Signal. It's time for new updates from the vehicle world. BMW 1 Series is going to be launched this September. It is going to provide a heavy competition for A-Class Benz and V Volvo V40. The 1 Series will come with two engine options, a petrol and a diesel. The 118D is powered by 1997cc diesel motor that we have seen in other BMW models. The motor is, however, detuned to 143bhp for the 1 Series and that gives it an edge over Mercedes A180 CDI. The petrol motor is also a high-tech 1.6-litre turbocharged direct injection motor that also powers the Mini Cooper and Cooper S. The engine in the 1 Series develops a healthy 136 bhp of power. BMW claims that the diesel engine equipped 1 Series will return 20.58 kpl whereas the petrol will return 16.28 kpl. The car will also come with auto start stop function which should boost efficiency. Both motors will come mated with 8 speed automatic gearboxes only. BMW will also tweak the suspension of 1 Series to cope with engine roads.
The 1 Series True to BMW Genetics has a longitude engine, rear wheel drive layout and 50-50 weight distribution and will surely spice up the luxury hatchback segment here. The German car maker has already started testing the car in India. BMW has already begun accepting pre-bookings for the 1 Series. What's more, the car maker is also offering its BMW Service Inclusive Plus package free of course for the first Indian 100 customers. According to the car maker, this includes services as often as necessary within the inclusive period with the added bonus of avoiding the inconvenience of discussing cost estimates and undertaking financial transactions at every workshop visit. The car would be locally produced at BMW plant in Chennai, so expect prices to be in range of around Rs 20 to 25 lakh. Kawasaki has already experienced the potential of the Indian two-wheeler market. Their impressive fleet of smaller capacity ninjas, the 250R, 300 and 650, having already taken to our roads as CKD assembled models via Bajaj's Probikin division. These bikes have seen storming success here while also earning the Japanese bike maker an immense fan following across India. Kawasaki now aims to build upon this growing presence, bringing Indian enthusiasts their fierce and super sports model, the Z610R and the famous ZX14R later this month. Both fierce Kawasaki superbikes are set to go on sale later this month, imported into India via the more expensive CBU route. The two ninjas will initially be available only in Pune, where approximate after-sale service and spares care shall also be provided. The CX-10R is expected to enter the market at around Rs 15.7 lakh, with the CX-14R will be slightly more premium priced. I'm sure you have made your choice now whether to buy an A-Class Benz or not. Well, I'll see you next week. Till then, this is me, Neeraja, signing off. Goodbye and drive safe.